damn, it's like I'm clearing my throat. Dude, Dave, I just got up. So you questioned authority. That's like the most dangerous, not dangerous, but maybe the most frightening thing to do. And that's when a lot of times fear gets out of control because people respond not how they want to respond, but how they believe they are supposed to respond. Because if he wasn't the manager, he never would have pulled rank and banned you from a public place. Or, I'm sorry, from a, from a business. You know, he would have talked to you. He would have told you exactly why. In fact, if he wasn't the manager, he probably wouldn't have told you to move. He probably just told you to move because he thought he was supposed to tell you to move, like he was doing his, a better job. When in truth, I think, the best thing you can do is make, make it the best experience for everyone that's around you all the time. No matter if you're a manager, no matter if you're an owner, no matter if you're employed, it doesn't matter. And it's the problem here is that he wouldn't answer your question because probably deep down he didn't have a reason for making you move other than you're supposed to by the rules. Fire hazard, you can't block the stairs. Now in your side of it, you have the right to question it, but you also have, if you want the communication to be 50-50, and, and that's what I think great communication is, you have to listen. And if someone asks you to do something, you can ask why, but you still have to listen to them. You can't just keep asking why until you hear what you want to hear. And sometimes, you know, moving from the stairs to the bench is what we what we should do in life because that's it doesn't matter ultimately. Moving around, sitting down, getting up, taking out the trash, doing dishes, that stuff it doesn't matter. We we just you know, you gotta make yourself do it. Now on the other hand, I guess it's not on the other hand, but in addition, you're banned from that place right now. But that is the reality of the situation right now, and that is completely up to you what you want it to be. I say go into the theater now, today, or whatever time it is. God, it's 11 a.m. here. Go into the theater and talk to the people during the day. Talk to him at night. Go back in at night and talk to him. Do that. Do that. Go back in at night when he's working again and talk to him. Tell him your name. And tell him you're sorry that you got angry. And that if you really want the communication to exist, you have to come back to this situation. You can't stop now. You have to come back to this situation and figure out how to divert, how to, how to put the anger through a lens and, and communicate with this guy. Get to know him. There's so much more to this guy than, than his job. And you won't be banned from the theater anymore. And talk to him for real. And, and really apologize for creating that conflict. Because you did. You both did. But you did. That is it's a great situation because you really confronted a fear by saying something and then all of a sudden things get like you know it's, it's like explosions start going off and everything's intensified and it's, it's easy to get angry but you know the relationship's not over with this guy this is just the beginning I'll see you later dude